Mason, how does that poem go again? The one Alice recites to the caterpillar? You are old, Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white. And yet you incessantly stand on your head. At your age, do you think it is right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, I prefer the romantic part. In my youth, said his father, I took to the law and argued each case with my wife. The muscular strength that it gave to my jaw has lasted the rest of my life. <laughs> Whatever put that into your mind, anyway? I'm really starting to identify a lot with Alice. You know, the part where she slowly loses whatever tenuous grip on reality she had. Here. Eat something, you'll feel better. Please. My stomach can't take it. You didn't sleep either. I heard you rambling around out here last night. I'm afraid to put my head down. Every time I close my eyes, I see Sasha melting like the Wicked Witch of the East. West. Or else I'm in the frozen food section at the supermarket. And there she is, propped up right next to the frozen yogurt. Julia, the whole world has bad dreams. That doesn't make us all certifiable. What if you have them when you're not dreaming? You're just feeling the pressure, Julia. That's all. And who could blame you after all you've been through? Darling, you've been wonderful. You just have to hold on a little while longer so we can clean up this mess and get back where we belong. You believe me, don't you? That's my girl. Now try and eat something while I go get changed. You're not leaving me, are you? Well, just for a little while. An hour, maybe two tops. I have to go shuffle some paperwork down at the office. I'll come straight home, okay? But I'm going to bring them back, I promise. Julia, I, I, I just stopped in to get some of my things, and I was going to pop right out again. What are you doing home at this hour? You're usually at the office. What is the matter with you? I decided to take the day off. Oh, now that's not like you. What's the matter? Aren't you feeling well? You do look a little pale. Let me feel your forehead. I'm fine. I'm fine. You look terrible. And haggard and, and green. I thought you said I was a trifle pale. No, no. What you need is some dry toast and a little of my wonderful chicken consomme. What I need is, is a little rest. Mason's here. He'll look out for me. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. All right, darling. I'll be at the office if anything does come up, which it won't. Look who's here. Augusta. How pleasant. I wish I could stay and chat. Don't be gone long. Be brave. So much for Florence Nightingale. Do you want to tell me what that was all about? 